we feel privileged in having Marcelo uh, present his work. Uh, Marcelo's work delights and intrigues because of its humor and its surrealist bent. It is done meticulously, technically, and the attention he pays to each detail is superb. The strength of his work is uh, due to a duality. And on the one hand, a casual observation will intrigue and delight. And when you look at his work at greater depth, you can actually go deep sea diving. That's how I refer to it. Most artists are content to produce work that are in line with prevailing aesthetic trends. Not Marcelo Suznavar, says Ashley Johnson. The internationally recognized Canadian-Bolivian artist is a didactic painter. His paintings are moral, social, religious, and political commentaries. I have been painting for uh, 25 years around. So I start to use oils when I turned 16. Um, after we, we do a trip with my father and my brother to one of the most rich cities in, the, in art in my country, it was uh, Potosi. So I had a huge impact with the paintings there from the Baroque style. When we come back to home, I, I, I take a piece of wood and I start to use oils. Marcelo's art is open to multiple interpretations and therefore appeals to a variety of viewers. At first impression, one is delighted. However, a deeper examination reveals profoundly complex compositions. Marcelo has developed a lexicon of symbols, which he applies in different paintings. Faces have closed eyes or are blind, and at other times are open, but they are always lifeless. Clocks, eggs, black and white checkerboard patterns, the cube, and the barcode are all encompassed elements. Usually when I have an idea, I do a sketch or drawing to keep the idea fresh. After that, I transfer to the canvas and I start to apply the oils. So it is a lot to search for inspiration, nature, uh, temptations, uh, time, death, many things inspired to, to produce my, my images. The strength of Marcelo Suznavar's work is built on three major aesthetic influences. The Andean Baroque style of his Bolivian religious heritage, the Northern Renaissance paintings of Hieronymus Bosch, and finally, Surrealism. I think my main project is just work uh, in any size I like. I think this is the long project for, for my life, uh, just create. This is the first time I made sculptures and I think all of my characters are very playful. It's very interesting to transfer the image into three-dimensional space. Marcelo Suznavar has an extensive history of international exhibitions. His works are in private collections throughout the world. When the artist uses their imagination to create something and the viewer tries to read that message or make their own interpretation of the work, that is amazing. The sensation is a gift and is one of the mysteries of art itself. We look forward to seeing you at Artichoke Gallery at this exhibition during June and July 2014.